Okay, boys and girls, I hear you loud and clear. All right, I hear you loud and clear. My ears are nearly blown off with the amount of requests I got for this, Donny. We're to be playing Kunkelja with the updated cards from Shouted Fable. You see this gutsy swing deck that attacks for literally zero energy if it's poisoned or affected by any other special condition for that matter, but it's poison we're doing here. Has improved in its numbers and that's because you've, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, I know, it's binding Mochi all over again. But it's not just that. We also have Neutralization Zone, a big card in this deck. If you get the right time in the game to play this card, you can buy yourself several turns, allowing you to hit 250 on multiple occasions where otherwise you'd be struggling to keep up with the game. That's the real buff for this deck. So let's take a dive into this zero energy neutralization zone deck. Before we get into it, I want to shout out Pokédex for you, where you can buy pre-built, yes, pre-built Pokemon TCG decks. No longer do you need to hassle about buying cards individually through different websites, waiting to receive each card at a different time, with them varying in quality and even risking getting bent or fake cards. So Pokédex for you does it all for you by giving you a deck to play right out of the box. We're talking meta decks, road decks, and they even sell LGLC decks. By clicking the link below and using the code FTW5, you will receive a 5 cent off at checkout. Thanks again to Pokédex for you for making life easier. Now, let's get going. Alrighty, here we are, boys and girls, up against the top Donny, the Reggie Drago V. Going second doesn't feel good, but we'll take it. Let's see what we can do here. This is a, this is a matchup we kind of want to take advantage of here. Um, Reggie Drago doesn't play. I swear, if I'm, I, I've played a lot of Reggie Drago, and I don't remember there being any particular stadium uh, or high counter stadium in a Reggie deck. So we could take full advantage of this with our neutralization. We just need to find it. Um, they, though, are starting off very strongly, as one would expect, of course. Well, they do get a Mew, not a Squawk, so they're clearly not playing Squawk or have prized it, one or the other. They will restart for one and pass up. Okay, nice and easy. Let's see what we get. We get a Vac, useless. Uh, I will have to rotate on here for sure. Uh, I think I just try and get a very, very, very solid board. Uh, let me check. I want to see if I have Stone in here as well. Yeah, okay. I'm just, like, going to full send it and just have, like a board state that's going to be good here. So let's just go for the stone. And I think I'm literally just going to get another nest ball. I'm not even... Oh my God, I got so scared there. I thought I instant charged. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do go for another nest ball. And just... Well, I don't even need to nest ball, do I? I just go for a... I think I need to get a bonnet down at least, right? But so long as I have three timbers down, then I have the chance to have a consistent setup. So... That's literally all I need here. So I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. Let's just go for an instant charge and pray that we don't get Iono'd because we have everything we need next turn. Tell you what, a bit of cherry on top is a KO on a Reggie Drago. We are hitting 250 to 60 of poison. Throw a Sneezer in the mix. Nice. Oh, that's it. We can get Mochi with Arvin and then just Oko Reggie. Oh, this would be so fun if we pull it off, bro. Let's see. Teal Mask Okapon. They accelerate with the Teal Dance. And they energy switch to Reggie here. Hey, you never know, man. They could be bricking. Okay. I said that way too soon. They did have Squawk? Why didn't they do that? Wait, what? Okay, sure thing. Whatever, bro. You do you, boo. You do you. They currently only have and still only have, dra not Dragapult, we're talking about, Giratina in the discard pile, so that's the only attack they're currently using. Um, the correct move for sure is Gudra. You could also Dragapult, um, but it all depends what you get, right? So let's see. They Ultra Ball. Get him in. Okay, so they have Dragapult. Okay. That still leaves us ready for a 1 hit KO next turn on Reggie Drago V-Star, so, and I'm pretty sure, oh, hold on, no, oh, they're changing plans, okay, I'm sure you're going for Gudra then, right? Oh, I'm just, like, super curious as to what attack they're planning to do here, but I think it is Gudra. Uh, you, you can see they prioritize that over anything else, Radzard, oh, I was hoping they just had, like, no attackers left, but they're for sure going to use Gudra's attack here, yeah, it's 200, yep, they've gone for Goo, okay, I think I still have a play, though, I, uh, I do, I do still have a play, okay, <laughs> We have a play, boys. Okay. And we get the sneeze. Up. No, shot. I think we have it. Um. Oh, no, we don't. We don't have it. Why was I... Why did I think I had it, bro? I don't have it. I was going to use Bonnet and then Gust with Boss. But then I don't have Rare Candy because I can't Arvin for it. So it is still just better for me to swing anyway. So I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to make the play, I think. Yeah. Let's just, let's just Arvin. Let's just get ourselves Candy. And is the Mochi going to like even like... No, the Mochi is not useful now. But I will get it. I'll Ultra Ball away back and Sinnoh. And then just get the Conkelda out. Let's evolve into it like so. I can still go for a Bonnet. But they're just going to put up Radzard. And that feels like a bad idea. So I am instead just going to Artisan. And get myself another Timber. 
I could Tatsugiri, but I already have. Do you know what? Yeah, we'll, we'll get Timber. We'll go for a Toxic Powder and we'll swing for that. It would be 210 plus the 300. Maybe I do go for the Mochi to just add some pressure. If, it's, if, it, if it goes up to, so this goes up to 210 and then it's 250. So 240 then comes back to me at 270, meaning we just whiff the knockout on the return. So there's no point in putting Mochi because I'm two shotting regardless. Okay, so I'll just do the 170 with the gutsy swing and have that take place. That sucks, man. We were so close. Oh, bro. What's funny is if I had like the out and then I had a Kieran, then it actually could have been possible. No, it wouldn't have been. We would have whiffed by 10 if i remember correctly but doing gudra just isn't going to be enough right not with the price trade that i'm offering here that said oh, I, I can see already happening down the line radzard rotom <laughs> i can see it happening i see what i need more than anything right now is neutralization i really need that card so we better bloody get it they go for an e-switch are they gonna like turo or something here don't you dare Moving energy to... Okay, they're preparing to attack with Radzard. That's fair. Not a bad move at all. Oh, maybe I should have put the Mochi because then I could I could have I could have wrote on this turn and taken the kill on Reggie. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, I should have done Mochi because although it's not Kevin coming back, I could have the turn afterwards just gone for Rotom to try and dig for the neutralization zone. Oh, your boys misplayed again. Oh, no. Well, there's an Ogapon coming in and they bench that Ogapon down and they throw a fire on Radzard to go for a restart. They do need one more energy on that afterwards. Yeah, if I take a KO, which they'll probably have. Obviously, this turn you go for Dragapult, right? Try and get a Kunkelda down. Sorry, a Timber down, but then I've just evolved that. So maybe... No, I think you still do Dragapult, right? Because you get, you're KOing anyway. You're getting KO'd anyway, sorry. It's probably a cheeky one-off in this deck. Now that I see it and I should have put it in, is a Petrant. You know the baby Petrant that adds to, um, amplifies poison by five? Just to like throw into the active. I know Cloth does that. Just on a turn where you can kind of take a miss, you know? That does make sense. Oh boy, do I wish I had that now. Either way, we're big chilling. I could also just boss up Radiant Charizard and chill. And that look, he doesn't feel good, right? Is that just me? Does that just have a switch? No. I mean, they're already one switch down. Reggie Drago is not notorious for having a high switch count. So maybe we try to give that a go. All right, let's see. Let's see what we get off the top deck first. Neutralization? Uh, oh, no. Okay. Uh, well, actually, uh, I wish I promoted Timber because that's a knockout. Um, okay. That kind of sucks. But I think... I'm gonna go for... Seems stupid. It seems like a bad idea. But it's Sire Remain protected from Dragapult, right? And I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Screw it. All right, let's 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 just... Look. I'm just gonna evolve into Kinkelda from the Bench Timber. So that way I can then just... I don't know, chill for a turn. <laughs> Bro, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think I've fumbled this one. I cannot lie. Let me Artisan. Let me just Artisan real quick, okay? Maybe get a Tattoo Geary down. That's a nice target for Dragapult. So uh, I'm just gonna double bonnet. We've already got the poison. So I'm just gonna instant charge here. And it's an Iono. Oh, I would take that. I just really need neutralization zone, man, before they get to the point of just okoing me of Rotom, even though they do have a Charizard. But if I could just deal with that Zard and get neutralization, it could just turn the whole game on its head. Bro, it'd be so big. Oh, they prime catch. Come off it, man. Why is this deck so good? <laughs> I wanted for years, years, I told you, probably not years, years for Reggie Drago to be the best deck in format, for it to finally meet its potential when it meets it. <sighs> Jesus Christ. It's a bit horrible, isn't it? Be careful what you wish for, eh? There comes the Rotom. And we have an uphill battle, that is for sure. But one we can climb. Again, stadiums. It's not really a thing you see. There is a Sinnoh, but that Sinnoh's gone. I would love neutralization. Ah, also they did just get, they did just play Rod, right? So that's a, that's, that's recovery gone too for Zard potential. Bro, just give me the zone. I swear that's all I need, man. I could have had it a few turns ago, you know? Would have been bleeding useful. Right, they are going to put damage on my timber. I need to evolve that now. Oh God, man. Why can't the zone come up when I need it, bro? I need it now. I really need it. Right, KO's guaranteed here. So I think I'm going to bring up a bonnet. Unless I might need to get it out of the active. How many switch plays do I have? Potentially, I have all switches in deck. So I'm going to go for a bonnet and just hope for a neutralization zone. I just need that one A-Spec Stadium, bro. Nope, that ain't it. If, if I, I don't know and don't get it, I'm scooping, bro. I'm sorry. That is just, it's just unfortunate. It's just bad L-U-C-K. And there you go. I, I think that's pretty much GG. Well, actually, no, that isn't GG just yet. We still have a turn. So let's try and make the most of it. Toxic Powder. Let's have that Reggie Drago go down and hope we somehow, somehow do something here. I mean, it's it's a real, real big off chance here. I guarantee I've, I've probably prized it, haven't I? Oh, I've definitely prized it, bro. I can tell. For sure, I've prized it. Oh, there's a Nest Ball. We have to deal with that Zard, man. We have to deal with that Zard ASAP. Because Neutralization Zone ain't doing nothing when there's a Zard coming in attacking you. You know what I'm saying? But there's the Pheasant. And I, I saw, oh, wait, if they get Reggie Jargo charged up, it is just GG. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, if they charge it up. 
but they have burnt a few e-switches already. So they need exactly energy e-switch, which they can do, but they only have the one e-switch left. So it's easier said than done. Well, there's one teal dance and they retreat to Ogre Pond. Hello. And they just pass. Okay. And it's still not a neutralization. Gee, where is this bloody card? All right. All right. Let's just evolve to Conkelda. I'm going to nest forward, check my deck. Can I please have this card? Please. Is it in deck? I have, it's there. Okay. I was about to literally say I've prized it. I was about to flip, but we're still, we're still online. We're still alive. Come on. Just please give, I did just shuffle my deck. So I've decreased the odds, but please just give me it. Please. Come on. No, man. Why is this just not happening? Oh my God. All right. Well, let's just go for a toxic powder again and just pass. I can't keep going like this, man. Well, look, the good news is they don't have game if they charge up Reggie now. Okay. And we do have Morty so we can draw a lot of cards next turn. I would like to combo neutralization though with boss as well. So I can boss up Zard, knock it out and neutralization. That's kind of what we need. It's an absolute ask and a half though. It is, it's a lot to ask for. They're going to restart and they just pass. We might be able to pull this out of the bag. We need to get super lucky. That isn't it. Okay, let's just, I'm just going to multi. I'm going to probably just pass again, by the way. Still no are you joking me? Okay, I'm thinning deck, bro. I'm not, I, I've just shuffled my deck again. I'm I'm furious. I'm absolutely furious. I really need that one specific card. Let me have that card. I'm, I swear to God, if you if you don't give it to me now, the next build I'm going to do of Concorda plays four coal rays, and I don't even play any energy. Just so I can search that bloody stadium. Jesus Christ. Dodging me like my ex-girlfriend. Oh, cure him. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well, they're still kind of struggling. It'd be kind of funny if they're, like, legit out of resources. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Um, well, they're not, obviously. Oh, Night Stretcher. That's going to do some work. They do still need to retreat this pond, though. They need to retreat it. Yeah, there's Reggie. Iono. Oh, yes, yes, please. Thank you. Oh, we do lose boss, though. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and it's still no zone. You can't make this up. Right, my opponent is dead drawing, so we are somehow surviving here. Somehow. How surviving? I don't know, but we're doing it, okay? That's all I care about. We're pulling it off, okay? Just give me... You are kidding me. You are kidding me. You have to be joking. Oh my god, this card just doesn't... Why does it keep escaping me? Why is it... Is it afraid? Is it because of my British accent? Listen, bro, I know we had the Empire before, okay? But we calmed it down. We, we dialed it back, okay? I'm not here to take over anymore, okay? Just... Come out of the deck, show us what you've got, and let us pop off, bro. Also, funny enough, they do KO themselves after this turn. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. We're like legit taking an Ogapon prize. <laughs> nah, they wouldn't let that happen for sure, right? But then they would have retreated if they had the option. Maybe, they, maybe they're just out of juice. It would be so funny if they're legit out of juice. Oh, let's count their energy, actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They usually, 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 usually see 10. Switch for us. That's cool. Still no play. Um, okay. I'm going to pass again because that's, that's a KO for us. And there is the zone. If this is too late, I'm going to flip. Actually, no, it's not too late, is it? It's not too late at all. We play it now. We just pass. We let Charizard come up and take a swing and then we boss for game. Oh my God. This is... We actually might have just won here. <laughs> oh God. Okay. There's the zone. Now we are talking. Again, we just pass, right? That's what we do. It might, no, it does make more sense for me to switch into the Conkelda because I do have another Conkelda anyway, rather than me getting iono or something. And then, yeah. Okay. It actually should switch into Conkelda here, but pass, passing will do the job. And I think we have finally made a comeback. I mean, listen, if they don't take two prizes this turn, we have game in hand and not being able to use Dragapult here prevents them from taking two prize cards. Well, they couldn't with Kurum anyway, because there's no mass for that. Dragapult can't do it. So I don't see how they can win now. You, you cheeky bucket, you dodged me for a while, but you came just in time. Well, they're going to retreat to Reggie Drago. Oh wait, they don't have a shred attack, do they? Do they have a shred? I don't think it matters, but they, they don't have a shred attack, do they? No, they don't. They don't have a shred attack. No, we're fine, bro. We're fine. They're going to go for Apex Dragon and it's gonna they're going to cure him, but it's going to do nothing. It's going to do nothing. Nothing. Wait, what? Um, okay. <laughs> I got scared. Look at that, bro. You done nothing to me. Literal zeros. And that is beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> bro, we fought tooth and nail for that win, but we got it all thanks to the neutralization. That is absolute poggers. Oh, we've got a Yveltal. Oh my God. This is funky as all. Ah, unfortunate prizing. We have prized our beloved Rotom. So important in this deck, but uh, that's that. Let's go for and attract customers and we'll get an Iona. That's fine. Um, I could put some pressure with the poison, but I'm not going to do it right now. As, as it stands, uh, not, they're not really doing much if this is the deck I think it is. There's a snow run. Yeah, I mean, the only real thing they can like target here is my Brute Bonnets, um, which will initially have 180 HP anyway. So it's actually not that bad. Gape Jaw Bog! Blood is cooking. Blood's in the kitchen. Okay, there's a pass there. Hit the microphone. Lovely stuff. <laughs> it's a 
And, and uh, uh, what is it? A useless nation zone. That didn't make any sense. A utilization zone? There we go. That sounded so much better. Guys, I sound smart. Look at me. Okay. Um, I'm going to Ultra Ball and get rid of you and you, I think. Uh, actually, I'm going to regret that, but here we are. I'm going to get Bonnet and just start getting some poison damage in. Yes, I'm going to take uh, Frostlass damage, but I'm also going to do poison damage. And that, that that seems more fun to me. So, And I also didn't bounce the stadium in time. Whoopsie. You know. I'm going to hold you, actually. There's a very good reason for that. Let me attract customers quickly. And it's another I Uh, Well, I don't want that at the bottom of my deck, so I'm going to fail that. <laughs> but I am throwing neutralization zones at the bottom of the deck. But this deck typically plays a Blood Moon. So I'll draw, and that's always late game. So, oh, yes, you absolute. I love you. Okay. It's going to be risky, but I do need to Rotom. Okay, it's risky because it's like uh, I'm putting down a lot of uh, a lot of abilities, you know? Uh, Frostlass has a field day with them, and Rotom's going to be an easy target. But I feel like I just need to draw some more, you know? Well, I actually don't. I, I really don't, do I? Ah, no. Okay, I'm going to poison. Screw it. Yeah, hold that. Hold that L, okay? Hold it. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's, do you know what? All right. All right, do you know, do you know what? I'm going to put even more pressure. Hold that. Yeah, I know it's another ability Pokemon. Let me have fun, okay? I'm just going to go for another Sneasler. There you go. Sneasler again. And that's three damage counters on you, mate. So there's even more pressure for you. Ah, uh, Dory. I don't like the monkey Dory. Well, I throw an energy on it, but it won't last forever. Also, isn't it weird that we're like, we're playing a deck that wants to come up against two prizes and we're not coming up against two prizes? Uh, interesting. Oh, hello. It's a two prizer and a stone. Uh-oh. Uh, we're going to see a capturing aroma come in. A hyper aroma, sorry. That would be rather unfortunate. And now I realize I shouldn't have bent Radiant Sneezer because it's only fueled Adrena Brain. So there you go. And a penny as well? Okay. But well, they just attach the turn. So they're not going for your Veltal then, right? Yeah, they just pass at this point, don't they? Oh, they TM Evo, you menace. You did all of that with like four cards, was it? Bro, cooked. What the hell? Oh, oh, wow. They only evolved into one? Did they prize like three frost last, bro? No shots. Hey, that's mental, bro. That is that is that is something different. Uh get okay. Let's pull. Get me something to work with here. I do like a bundle. I do like the look of a bundle. Actually, no, Monkey Dory actually is kind of good here. So um maybe I'll just bench the bundle for now. And if it gets like to a, a level where I need to, I can then go for the bundle play. Because actually, Monkey Dory is like actually the bigger threat in my opinion right now. So I I will get the bundle down. If I'm forced to play it, then screw it. Am I playing uh, badly? Of course I am. That's what I do. And we get Okay, okay, all right, fine. I'll have to get rid of my Rotom. Look, I'm not gonna play it, okay? I'm not gonna play it. We'll just get the switch. Easy as, mate. Oh, look at that. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff here. As I'm just gonna go for a switch and then just, just knock out Monkey Dory. I'm hoping we can just put pressure on them. That's what I'm hoping for. Very aggressive pressure with this Kunkelda because it is constantly hitting 250 every turn and they cannot KO it very easily either. So that's a lot and a lot of pressure. So I'm hoping that goes a long way here. Just bear in mind, they only have three cards in hand now. And yes, I know they played an absolute master turn, but did they leave themselves anything else to follow up with afterwards? They do have Dust Noir, okay? And a Vessel that will let them attack, but that's all it's gonna do. That's all it's gonna do. We're talking. We're absolutely talking now. I'm sure of it. They go for a Corrosive Wins. Oh, they will get a prize though. They will take a Tatsugiri down. Damn it. That's, ah, ah. Okay. I, I, I liked knowing that all they had in their hand was an energy. Now I don't know what the what the surprise card is, you know? But nonetheless, we move. Uh, let's go for an Artisan here. And actually, no, that might have helped them. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to throw another Timber down. Ultra Ball away, Heavy Ball and Stone. Literally useless right now. And just get myself another Conkelder. Low key, might just hold it in hand because I do have the ability to just rare candy at next turn. And that kind of seems more fun to me. Right, I'm just Oconi you anyway, so I don't need to go for the, the bonnet. And as it stands, in terms of ability Pokemon at least, there are three. So even if Frostlass is just taking damage and they're doing nothing, they still can't win. They will have to take out at least two Conkeldas after that. So there is that to bear in mind. Oh yeah, and of course I can, I can bonnet. Yeah, sorry, I, can, I keep calling bundle bonnet. I can bundle. It's like now if they just pass, um, then I bundle. That's a perfect time to bundle. Oh, they get Monkey Dory and they have the energy. That sucks. Oh God, I keep forgetting like how much damage this does ramp up over time. But I mean, what do you target here? If you go for bundle, then you know what? I'm just instantly going to go for uh, a hyper blower. So that's like a waste of damage. Sneezer might be the call. Yeah, I think they go for Sneezer. Now I regret putting Sneezer into play. <laughs> I really should have limited my abilities. Now she tried playing intelligently, huh? But no, boss man over here thinks he's doing something special. There comes the freezing shroud. And I obviously go for bundle here. First off, we go for a rare candy. We give them a bundle of joy. And I probably 
just going to give me a snow run. So that's fine. I'm not going to Artisan. I'm I was tempted to Artisan for a bonnet there, but I kind of just want to have that available to get out. Oh, I have it in hand. <laughs> Basically, I, 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 I misspoke. I didn't want to have bonnet on the bench and just taking damage when it wasn't needed to be there. I'd rather try and get it down at the right time, you know. But I do take out a Sneasler, though. But listen, bro, if all I've got is Conkeldos and bonnets, that's the deck. So we're fine. And we are one KO and one boss away from uh, from getting a, uh, a nice and easy win with the Rotom KO. Easier said than done, though, hey. Well, they do get their second Frost Lass. That's where things start amping up. They go for an Artisan. I wonder what they're going to do. Yep, a second Monkey Dory. This is when the damage starts really getting high. Yep, that's the Yikers. Bro, especially if they get a Dusk Noir. That'd be kind of wild. They can do some serious stuff. Oh, they're just going to go for Gerda? They're just going for the Knockouts. I mean, they, the math is there. Okay, that's fine. That's all right. Now, I believe they can just knock out my bonnet next turn. So I think this turn I now bench my bonnet. What would be really nice here, though, is an Iono. I think that would be quite nice to have. They go for an instant charge. That's why I would like an Iono, because they're instant charging right now. Meaning they have a lot to play with. That is for sure. Okay. Oh, hello. How you doing? Nest ball, what can you do for me? Literally nothing. But you know what? That's fine. Oh, so let me bench this bonnet now, then. And go like that. Is Artisan getting me anything? I just played an S ball, so clearly it's not getting me anything of use. Apart from a second bonnets um but i think we just let me just go for the knockout i could switch into a fresh conkelda maybe i should have done that um no not really are they really taking free prizes this turn i don't think they are and oh do you know what how much i hope that was a boss because boss would have just won me the game <laughs> but it's not either way there comes the freezing shrouds as they move damage to the active conkelda it literally doesn't matter here if i retreated they would still do this so I don't think, yeah, I think me retreating wasn't that big of a deal or not. They are going to go for some more Monkey Dory shenanigans. Still needing to do 30 onto me to knock me out. What's interesting is they just didn't go for Bonnet this time around. Um, but they are going to Yveltal. That's That's going to be a problem. As we get Iono. And I'm actually, like, not against this. Bro, give me something good here. And we could do something. Oh, no way. No way did you just boss me. Oh, my God, you gave me a boss. Bro, you're so good. Ha, <laughs> let's go. No way did they just Iono me into a boss. Well, technically, we would have gotten a top deck, but let's not let the moment die down, all right? We just got game against the deck we really shouldn't be beating. That is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> How did they give me that? Oh, and with one price card to take on their side, too? Oh, it's painful. Iono is a lie. It always was. All right, Kunkelda, up you come. Let's go for a Toxic Powder, and we're just going to boss up your liability and say bye-bye. Jesus. Right, we're not designed to come up against that deck, so I'm so glad we managed to pull it off. And I made a few misplays, I know. So big numbers out here. Well, what a run of games, eh? That was quite fun. Very, very fun. That Reggie Drago game was absolutely just insane. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks for suggesting the deck. It is good fun to play. Of course, list in the description as always. Thanks to the members for your support. I appreciate it a lot. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.